Hello everyone, this is your homeboy once again of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. We are here at the Kensington Park in London. Um, the weather is just good enough for us to be here. I'm catching up with uh, Kemi Fashaki, a former Nollywood actress. Um, it's nice having you back on this program. Thank you. Uh, Kemi is from Nigeria. I also have another guest. I will let her introduce herself. Vivian, please. Hello, everyone. I'm Ikweze Vivian, a lesbian from Nigeria. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here, honestly. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. How has life been treating you, Kemi? Yeah, life has been good. From the last time that we discussed. Yeah, life has been good. Although the corona, yeah, from the last time the corona was yeah, there already. Yeah, it was yeah. there. It so was there. even yeah. up till now. So we just started coming out a right. few weeks ago. It's good. Yeah, although things are not really easy, yeah. it's better. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Kemi. You are welcome to our Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Thank you. It's Thank always you. nice to have a um, guest on this uh, on this forum. Um, without taking too much of your time, because you both are from Nigeria, yes. I just want to throw a topic that has been trending for some time. Okay. There is this uh, televangelist in Nigeria, Pastor T. B. Joshua yeah. of the. Synagogue Church of All Nations. Yeah. He was, um, there was this video that was trending. Uh, he was doing what they call conversion therapy. That is trying to remove evil spirits yeah. from two lesbians in his church. And because of that, uh, the YouTube suspended his uh, YouTube channel that has 1.8 uh, million subscribers yeah. and that video has been watched by 1.5 million uh, viewers really? so let me ask you what's your opinion about uh, this exorcism that uh, preachers do in nigeria yeah so let, let me say something about that like tb joshua is not actually the only pastors doing that in africa in nigeria to be precise yeah so a lot of pastors do that yeah so tb joshua trying to do that was not really good and uh i'm very glad and i'm happy that youtube suspended his youtube channel for the now and i hope and pray that they don't open the channel to show to serve as a lesson to other pastors as well and for the victims yeah so there won't be feeling too good and they'll be feeling somehow now because of what he has done to those uh, ladies yeah so i'm very happy for what youtube has done and i'm happy as well for those that took up the matter for him to be cleansing and doing that it was not it is not a good thing yeah and i think even the victims will be feeling bad so i know what this lady is, is passing through because i've been a victim as well yeah so growing up as a teenager and growing up with my grandmas so i i experienced this in the past yeah like your parents even your relatives like telling you you are possessed like yeah you they, they need to take you to a pastor to pray for you to deliver you you understand and i can even remember back then that my pastor always says like being a lesbian being a gay is a sin yeah that anyone that is doing that like they are going to have fire so and all of that so i know what these ladies are passing through right now thank you very much Kenny. thank you Vivian. yeah i uh before asking for your opinion i know most of these pastors yeah they they, they tend to force people yeah to make false confession 
So, in all this drama concerning uh, Pastor T.B. Joshua, what's yeah. your opinion? Okay, like to start with, I'm really happy that the um, YouTube channel was suspended. And back home, they believe that um, if you're a lesbian, that you are possessed with an evil spirit. But personally, I don't believe it. I don't really believe it. Because I don't know why we, um, they can, we can't really live the way we want to live our life. And other pastors, because my mom normally takes me to church then, they will be preaching against it, homosexuals and lesbians. But me, I don't believe in that. And I'm really happy that it happened. So that other people, other pastors as well, and other churches will say that that same human being, that love is love. You don't have to like tell them who they want to love and all that. So I'm really happy about that because well, I will say that is one of the things I left um, Nigeria because since I came here, I've been living my life, being free, being open, being the person, I'm living the life I want to live. No one to tell me you are possessed and all that. So I'm really happy that the, the video go viral so that other people can learn from it as well. Thank you very much, um, Vivian, and thank you very much, Kenny. Um, it's really nice to have this sort of interaction so that um, we'll be able to express our views yeah. concerning homosexuality, back home in Africa, yeah. these preachers tend to demonize the LGBT community back home. Yeah. But we are all Bible-believing Christians. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. The, the, it's important because um, the church has given I personally a platform to train myself yeah. to be able to challenge this sort of uh, bigotry yeah. amongst our people and yeah. um, to challenge the homophobia yeah. amongst the black African community. Yeah. You know, so um, what Pastor T.B. Joshua did is deplorable. No, no, it's no, unacceptable no, because uh, <clears throat> it's even trampling on the rights of yeah. Okoye and the other lady yeah. that were being cleansed. Allegedly yeah. being cleansed, yeah. you know, and uh, hopefully we will not have this kind of, with, with education. Yeah. Uh, all this will be a thing of the past yeah. uh, in Nigeria. It's been nice having both of you on this program. Uh, hopefully, we will see, we'll definitely see you again yeah. very yeah. soon, Vivian. Thank you. Kemi, we are rounding up. So, do you have any last uh, parting words for our viewers? Okay, thank you for having me, Larry. I'm glad and I'm happy to be here today. Thank you. Yeah, so I wish and uh, those other pastors can learn from TB Joshua as well what have happened to him now. YouTube have suspended his channel and uh, there are many fake pastors out there anyway. And um, because of those pastors are the reasons why we also left our own countries. Because they keep preaching that homosexuality is a sin, you understand? And um, so I have to even leave my Nollywood career and come here just to be saved. And I'm here and I'm happy and out, going out with people who understand me, who are doing the same thing, like my LGBT group and even uh, my church as well. So they accept me for who I am, you understand? So I hope other pastors learn their lessons as well and um, those other fake pastors mm. should also be Girl cut switch. off. Yeah, that's it. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you, Larry. It's nice to have you. Vivian, yeah. parting shot. Thank you, Larry, for having me here today. Um, one thing I'll say to my viewers is that to LGBI, um, LGBT people, Keep living the life you are living. I pray that one day you will find your way here to live the life you want to live. Because these pastors that are doing all these things, some of them are fake pastors. They are fake, just telling you come and sow seed in their church and all that. I, I thank God that the um, 
TB Joshua issue came up so that other people will learn from it. Just keep being yourself. Love is love. There is no discrimination about whom you want to love or that. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Kemi. Thank you. It's been nice having you. The you heavens welcome. just opened up again. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, this is Art on Cloud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Keep watching, comment, subscribe. Like. And one important thing, please click on the notification button so that you can get notified when our videos are uploaded with inspiring stories. Thank you very much. I mean yours sincerely. Have a nice time. Bye. Bye.